Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, this is Lithium017 from my channel, Nintendo Collecting 101, bringing you collecting tip number 69, the right fit. If you're a collector and you have a place for your games, maybe you don't have an entire room, but maybe you just have a location in your bedroom or on a certain wall or anything like that, I strongly advise you to keep in mind before you even buy an item where that item will go. Where does that puzzle piece fit in your collection? For some things, this is very obvious, but I'm going to talk about games, controllers, accessories, consoles, figurines, and even posters. The most straightforward item to probably have a fit in your collection is games. So here I just have a few games to show off. I have Ivy the Kiwi, a very well-liked game on the Wii, but actually a lot of people don't know about it. Fortune Street, actually a pretty darn good game that's out for the Wii that no one really bought. And Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon for the 3DS. When I buy games, it's very automatic where I'm going to put them, and I'm sure for you it's the same case. You likely have some sort of a gaming shelf, such as this one, where you can actually just throw your game in. Maybe you put them in alphabetical order or something like that. But I'm not talking about displaying your items this tip, that's for another tip. I'm just talking about the right fit. So games, you should probably have your own idea in mind where they go. But what about special editions? The last story recently came out on Wii, within the past 12 months anyways. It's one of the best last releases on the Wii and a member of Operation Rainfall. You might want to decide, do I want to display my special edition games straightforward like this so that you can actually see the whole front packaging? Do you want to display them on their side with all the other Wii games? If they came with other little knickknacks like this soundtrack, where do you want to put the soundtrack? Are you just going to put it beside it like this? Are you going to display the soundtrack too? I think you should keep these things in mind when you're displaying and buying items for your collection. Something like Wii Play is a much thicker box, so showing all of my special edition boxes, I can't really show them straight like this. So I've been turning them sideways, but I run into a problem. You don't see Wii Play on the, this side of the box, you do see it on this side, so I would display it like this. But something like Animal Crossing, I'm running into a problem, because this big box of Animal Crossing, it doesn't even say the name on the side of the box anywhere. So how do I display this? I need to kind of keep that in mind, and for now I have been displaying it on the side, and I just know, hey, it's Animal Crossing. Something like this steelbook for New Super Mario Bros. U, before I bought it, I was kind of thinking, where can I put this? And it turns out because it's the year of Luigi, and I noticed on the back there's Luigi right there, obviously holding a pink Yoshi, that I would put it kind of with my Luigi shrine for this year that's going to be right there. So I actually have in mind where I'm going to put this item before I even bought it, and I knew I would probably put it somewhere like right down here, and I need to neatly kind of tuck that in, and I turn the TV on while doing so, which is hilarious, but I will just shut that TV off for us and put it right back where it should go. And that's where this puzzle piece goes in my collection. I happen to have a double, which I put beside that awesome Axi huge GameCube controller. Another item where I wasn't really sure to put. So that's a pretty logical transition into accessories. If you have controllers, possibly controller boxes like those GameCube ones, or maybe just a loose controller, like this Donkey Kong 64 controller that never even came with an original box. It has banana tips. Where are you going to put it? You need to kind of figure that out before you buy it so that you have it in mind. Items such as this Wii or Nintendo DS. This is the actual Wi-Fi USB connector. They're pretty expensive. I bought this, I think, for $20 because I know it's going for $45 or more. And I think it will be collectible because, honestly, who bought this? No one. I had to keep in mind, where am I going to show that? Or another problem I'm having right now, I bought the... Wii Wheel on sale for $8, the black version, I already had the white version, I actually don't know where to put that yet. I'm not sure because I kind of don't want to hide it away underneath my display cabinets, I'd rather be showing the items that I have when I can. The same thing does go for consoles. So many of my N64 consoles, I actually had an idea of where to put them, I knew where that piece of the puzzle would go before I even bought them, and it made sense to me of where they would go, but the handheld consoles, I wasn't really sure. So for example, this Zelda th Nintendo 3DS console, it was originally beside 
my NES console up there, but then I realized, hey, I kind of have some space on this beam up here, and I decided to fit my handheld consoles. So for now, as long as it fits, and if I can get it up there during the video, that would be great, just to show you where this puzzle piece fits. It's probably the right fit, and it fits oh so well, oh so perfectly up there, and they don't look that bad up there. But as soon as I get another handheld console, I need to think, where am I going to put those? Because I'm running out of room up there. And I'm actually missing a few consoles for handhelds that I would like to get. Moving on from that to figurines. For me, figurines go usually in front of my games, which they actually get in the way when you're trying to pick a game. For example, this big Bowser, where do I put him? He looks pretty big actually, but he fits in really well with my Mario figurine collection and even something as small as a figurine like this Link figure from Wind Waker and Spirit Tracks, where do they go? So I'll show you where I had them in mind. And I actually kept in mind how many of these figurines I have. Bowser goes with his other four on that shelf, so there's five on that shelf. And I had to keep in mind something like 575 five, just to make all those figurines work out. The Zelda figurine goes here. It's Link, I know. It's from the series of Zelda, though. So I have in mind where I'm putting all of my items usually. And I have some sort of an idea to try and make my collection look really good. These bigger figurines don't fit into my collection really whatsoever. They don't really match anything. But I had an idea in mind to kind of put them beside my TV or on top of my TV. So because it's the year of Luigi, I decided to put Luigi over here on top of this TV, right in the middle. And I have the coin there too. And I was actually trying to balance the coin right in between his feet. But it's very hard to do, so I won't do that during the video. So I haven't even had in mind where I was going to put the coin. And the other two larger figurines I had in mind as well to put them on top of the other TV to kind of keep the same idea. Possibly Yoshi on the right, why not? And Mario on the left there. So I strongly encourage you to keep this in mind as well. Posters is the last item I would like to talk about. Posters, such as the one that you see behind here, that's a great one, I think, for behind my TV. It kind of summarizes the room. It's the Super Mario poster from Club Nintendo, and it has many of the Mario characters. In this corner, for now, anyways, I have two Zelda posters that kind of go hand in hand. When I get the Luigi poster for this year of the Platinum Reward from Club Nintendo, I will probably put it in one of those. And this kind of matches the green theme over here, and it fits. Moving on from that, I do have the three posters over here that are the three history posters, one from Zelda, one from Donkey Kong, one from Mario. And I think those three match really well together. So I have a ton of other posters, including one that I just kind of threw up in this corner, which is a link, sorry, which is Ocarina of Time, obviously, and that's the 3DS version. But I have a tremendous amount of other posters. What you're seeing here, in the left one here are Zelda posters. There's another five or six of them. Mario posters, a lot of them. Donkey Kong posters, a lot of them. A platinum reward from, I think, last year of more posters. I don't know where to put them. I buy these things. I'm not even displaying them. They're just taking up space below my cabinets and display cases. And if I don't display them, what a waste, kind of. I like having items to display them and to enjoy them and to know where they're going. And even something as simple as this mint box for the legend of zelda where do you put this in your collection you might run into something you think it's really cool you want to buy it because you think it's a neat knick-knack for your collection but if it doesn't have any place and you're not sure where to put it maybe you should consider not buying it at all and keep that in mind so that is collecting tip number 69 thank you very much for watching feel free to like the video follow me on facebook or twitter and remember, as always, game on.